Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Uh, my name is Gabby. Uh, this will be my first video ever and I uh, recorded a uh, everyday makeup look. This is what I wear to work every day. Uh, well, mostly every day. Um, but uh, I'm, in, I'm in a learning process. Uh, I will be posting another video later on this week about... Uh, some things that I've picked out from the thrift store. I'm a huge fan of fashion and I think that you can find a lot of things at the thrift store, unique things that uh, not everyone has. Um, I hope you guys like it. If, if you guys have any suggestions, please comment below. I will be posting, um, I will try to post um, at least two videos every week. I'm new to this and I will be trying it out, um, but I I love fashion, I love makeup, and I think that I can express myself um, in this platform, um, so I hope you guys like it. Thank you. Okay guys, you guys want to use a moisturizer. I'm using this one. I'm going to link everything down below. Uh, you want to just put that all over your face to keep your face moisturized and uh, help your makeup last a lot longer throughout the day. After that, I'm going to go ahead and use a primer. I'm using this primer here. You want to use that to close all your pores. Uh, again, your makeup is going to look a lot better in pictures and throughout the day. I'm using this foundation as well. I've been trying it out. I'm using the sponge to blend in everything um, on my face on there. Uh, I'm going to pass this through. I don't like to use a lot of foundation uh, because you're going to go ahead and use your concealer. Now I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows. I'm using this uh, brush, the very thin angled brush. I'm going to go ahead and also brush my eyebrows. Uh, that's going to help um, when you go over with any powder or whatever you use to uh, fill in your eyebrows. This helps me a lot uh, because you can go ahead and just kind of brush them and keep them all together. I personally don't like uh, using any pencils uh, on my eyebrows. I think that I'll rather do a powder and just go over it with a brush. I think that it looks a lot more natural. But then again, it really depends on the person. Um, I'm just filling in the empty spots. Uh, I tried not to do anything too harsh um, as well. You don't, I don't like very, very dark eyebrows. Um, but it's, it's really up to, to the person. I know that some people love the pencil um, on their eyebrows and they look, you know, they look nice. It's just I feel like they look way too much on mine. The concealer that I'm using is by Naked. Uh, what I like to do is I like to go under my eyes. I like to go ahead and I do put a lot um, just because uh, I feel that uh, I really have really dark under eyes and also I don't put a whole lot of foundation so that helps it. Uh, I, again, I'm not a makeup artist so I don't know if that's good or not but uh, I also don't like the cakey look or you know when you see someone and you just feel like they're wearing a lot of makeup. I feel like when I do this it just looks very effortless and you don't you don't I don't feel like I'm wearing a lot of makeup so I'm just gonna go over everything on there um, with the sponge again make sure that you get the under eyes um, especially for me because I feel like I do have really dark under eyes now going into contour 
What um, I do uh, with my contouring, I try to uh, leave it as light as possible. As you can see, I'm using an angle brush from e.l.f. Um, but, and you can see my dog Jacks in the background. Uh, I'm using NYC, a dark tone. Um, not, not too dark. Uh, I will list it down below, but as you can see, I don't do it really harshly, especially for your everyday look. It's really up to you if you want to do contouring. Um, I just, I have made it part of my daily routine. How I do it is I basically go on my chin um, and my uh, higher cheekbone. Uh, I also try to do it on my forehead a little bit. I have a smaller forehead so I don't do it uh, too much but you uh, still want to blend it in a little bit. I also do my nose um, just because I think that um, it looks better honestly um, again I don't do it really harshly um, but I still make it a part of my daily routine if I have time if I don't I just uh, leave it as it is I just what I try to do is I go ahead and I use a little bit of the bronzer as you see I go on the sides uh, to make it look a little bit thinner and also um, to define it a little bit more um, I have more of a chunkier nose as I call it and then I go over it with the um, sponge just to not have the, the lines in. for my eyes uh, the only thing I do is I go with the naked palette um, I go with the lighter shade and this is just to keep it as um, simple as possible. Um, I don't do any um, darker colors for, for my job. Uh, this is just my daily routine. I do change it up every now and then but I think that on you know Monday through uh, Thursday this is what I do. To define my eyebrows a little bit more, what I do is I use a synthetic brush and I go with the concealer that I used for my under eyes and what this does is that when you fill in your eyebrows, any of the residue or any of the extra may fall. This is uh, going to go ahead and uh, make it a cleaner look. It's going to define it a little bit more. I don't, don't go too overboard because then it's not going to look natural. But I usually do this um, whenever I have time, of course. And well, let's just say that every time I do do this step, I'm usually late for work. Just don't tell my my managers that this is the reason why but most of the time it's just you really have to have enough time in your hands to, to go over and just uh, make the shape a lot better. Most of the time I do not do this um, just because I do have to get, get up early in the morning and trust me if I have even 5 minutes I will sleep those 5 minutes and so this usually I do it every time I'm going to start a little bit later or uh, on the weekends or whenever I know that I'm not rushing. Um, but it does create a better look. It defines it a little bit more. I can honestly say that. With the same shade that I went over on my lid, I'm just going to go over it one more time just to set the concealer. Um, this is going to help not smear off. Um, it's going to set it and it's going to blend in uh, you know once again with the same color that I did for my um, for my lid I did a wing liner um, I did not record it because it's very difficult but here it is I will make a video especially for this uh, next time um, uh, my favorite mascara is the telescopic it is definitely my favorite the only one I use um, I go ahead and I use it every day. It honestly makes my eyelashes look uh, as if they were fake. Um, but you know, I, I don't really want a drastic look for whenever I do go to work. I don't want to scare people off. What I use as a bronzer is a Milani bronzer. I honestly been using this for 
a long time. Um, this is probably the only one I use uh, so far. Again, I don't have a whole lot of makeup, but um, I think that this one does the job. It gives you a glowy look, especially for um, those winter days that um, they're very dry out there. I honestly don't want to look like that. I want to look as glowy as possible. Um, I do live in Chicago, so that's most of the time. Just how we contour, I'm going to go over with my bronzer. I'm going to go on my forehead, on the side of my eyebrows, as well as um, on my higher cheekbones. You just want to blend it in. One more thing, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to highlight a little bit. Today is um, the first day that looks sunny outside, so I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit since I'm not doing... Um, a lot of a lot of um, eye makeup. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight, uh, not too much, um, but I'm going for the glowy look, so I think this is gonna help out. And I'm gonna use the sponge again uh, because I'm using a stick as a highlighter, and so this is gonna help blend it in as well with my bronzer. One more last thing, I'm going to go with my blush just a little bit, this peachy uh, color um, I tend to use a lot, especially in the summer. Um, but I think we're done. I hope you guys like this look, and if you guys have any suggestions, please let me know.